No, you're, I, from from what I re remember, I listened to your episode with with uh, Rogan. Your dad was kind of like a t like a pretty tough guy, right? Kind back of one in the of those, day, one of those like vintage New York tough guys. Yes, back in the day. Now he's got you know now he's on dialysis with two fake knees. Um, but 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 he's back in the day. You know, I think a lot of guys in you know he's from the Bronx. I think a lot of guys in the seventies, eighties, even early nineties got mixed up. With those guys, you know, gambling right. and, and, and running around. And it was just an easy way to make money. Like, hey, you know, you, you work for this family. You know, go pick up this gambling debt, that gambling debt. So you get to know those guys. Not that he was ever a made guy or whatever. Right. But you get to know those guys. You get to know those circles. You know those people. Was he uh, like collecting money? Yeah, 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 pretty yeah. much. Like uh, his job, I would call. Like, you know, it was, it was like a different work number every week. And it, somebody would just be like accounting. And it was always like some guy, some different guy, and I, I had no idea. Like, so we'd have to go shake down the business owners. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, because yeah. that's the thing with my dad is I never really asked too many questions on what he did, but I just like would always get, I would always get like, because my parents got divorced you right. know, when I was very young, yeah, and I would always get like kind of hints of like, oh, my mom doesn't like believe my dad or like my dad, because like I remember one time like being a little kid and being like, dad, like. You know, like, it's career day tomorrow. Like, what do you do for, like, work? What's your job again? And, like, my mom being like, <sighs> my mom, I'm, she was, like, making dinner. She's like, I'd love to see what he says now. Like, <laughs> you know, like, she's like, let's see what Tony, what bullshit he what comes bull up with. Accounting. <laughs> well, no, I remember he said, he goes, I go, I go, he works in, a, he said, he goes, he goes, oh, oh Chris, I, I work for the banks. And I was like, oh, he, you, oh, you work for the banks? And my mom went, ha, the banks. And they just kept like you know making the spaghetti, and I was like, and I was like, yeah, she was just, and I, and I remember like not like just be like, okay, is that why your mom divorced him? Like, my, well, dude, no, my mom said they, my mom served divorce papers to my dad when she was pregnant with me because he gambled. This was 1984. I was I was born in 84. Okay, so the so, Jordan year. He was drafted in 84. Bro, 1984. There's a book. I forgot what it's. I think it's called Glory Years. It's about yeah. how wild the year 1984 was. I haven't read it yet, but there's like a lot of shit that went down in 1984 right. um but so 84 uh uh my dad um you know bad gambler whatever took like eight thousand dollars of like my of their like ten thousand dollar savings and bet it on like the montreal expos like some bullshit <laughs> and random it. thing and they lost and then so and then i think what happened was is is my somebody called my dad didn't pay up and somebody called my mom at like whatever it is 10 p.m and was like where's the money i know you're pregnant you don't want to fall down a flight of stairs, like shit like that. And then my mom took me to like Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Like we got we out. We got to get out of Dodge. She got out of Dodge, came back, gave birth. But then I think that was like the beginning of the end. And then, uh, but, but, but my dad always says, he's like, you know, when you were born, like that was like, that's when I feel like I hit the lotto, like that, like you. And then he started to like slowly get out of it all. And now, uh, I mean, I don't know anything like about, I have multiple family members uh, on my dad's side who were like murdered. And stuff like that's like real on the nose mafia shit. Murdered, he, like shot, like shot and killed. Police never investigated it, so it's like you know, like sleep with the fishes kind of bodies, shit. Yeah, bodies, bodies in a found. Trunk. Oh yeah. So I'm like, so that stuff. I'm like, oh, see, that's the thing with like with like organized crime and all that. Like it's it's cool and romanticized in the movies, and it is it is. I get why, but when it's actually in your family, you're like, eh, I don't, I don't, I don't. Who was like the closest relative to you that you that passed? My uh, uncle. So my my aunt's husband, but I was again a, a little kid. Right. But him and his son, my cousin, were just murdered, like shot to death at work in long island uh, uh new jersey Fuck. yeah dude yeah and then when you look it up it's like the, the, there was no leads no nothing and then it's crazy my aunt got um and this is like a, a, a mafia thing my aunt got i don't know for the amount of time but like every month behind like one of the plants there'd be money bag of money because probably the family that killed him are like well we, we got to take care of the wife if we're going to yeah, see, take them see, out. The, see those guys. See, see that's the thing. Like the mafia, the Italian mafia. It, I understand the extortion and and the crimes. I get it. I get why it's bad. I really do. But there is a little bit of there's like, a little code. There's a little bit of like, well, it's a little bit safer when the mafia's around. They're not gonna. Here's the thing. Is yes, it sucks. I gotta pay this fee, this extortion fee. That sucks. But you know what? No one's ever gonna break into my business. No one's ever gonna hurt my kids because if they do, they're fucking dead. And they will not mess with you unless you mess with them. At least the old guys were. The new people, you know, I, I don't know. But the old guys, my father would always say, the only 
people you got to watch out for in this world are mafia wannabes. The wannabes are the guys who will hurt you because they don't live by the code. The guys who live by the code, you never see it coming. You just get one in the back of the head, but they would never touch you unless you did something to them. Mm. And they would, you know, I, I remember being in um, uh, uh, Cross Bay Boulevard, the Howard Beach always, always would have a festival. Right. Like a carnival every year. And I remember going there once with my dad and John Gotti and his guys were handing out free candy to all the kids. I was like, this guy's fucking like Jesus. Did you, I get, love any, this guy. Did you get any candy from him? Of course. Wow. Yeah, no, we were all, we, the, all the kids. He gave it to all the kids. He was just John like, Gotti, you got some of John yeah. Gotti's candy? Some yeah. mafia candy? Yeah, it was like a big deal. Like a kid's with, there's a million kids did with he, that story. Did he say hi to your dad? No. He like, never, hey, it's been a while. Good to see you. <laughs> no, but you know what's funny? It's, he didn't say hi to my dad, but when John Gotti died, his funeral was in Queens, and I remember my dad was like, you know, uh, I lived in Queens, right? And my dad, you know, I was a teenager by then, so it's not like I knew his, you know, whereabouts every right. second of the day. But but he called me. He's like, ah, I'm in Queens. You want to get a slice of pizza? I'll meet you by your mother's house. And I was like, oh, cool. And then I, I remember said, I was like, why are you in Queens? A guy, a friend died. I went to their funeral, and I was like, oh. <laughs> because I know that, but but I never asked. Like, but it could I, not. It could not. It could have been coincidental. That, see, if I'm you, I'm like, Dad. Yeah. You're on dialysis. Yeah. You got two old knees or new knees, whatever. Yeah. Let's peel back the onion. Give yeah. me some of these stories. Yeah. Give me some, I know. I know. Let's, I, let's do a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. No, he wouldn't. That's the thing is he wouldn't say because he's very much like I don't want you near this. Right. You know. But it was funny when I remember that day. He was like, I was at a friend's funeral. I was like. Oh, John Gotti? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Imagine it wasn't. It was just like a neighbor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some old you lady. Did, you, you just came up with this, this <laughs> yeah. coincidence in your head. None of it's real. He's never in the mafia. It's like, like no, no. My, no, he actually worked for the banks. Yeah, no, he yeah. genuinely he worked might, for Chase. Yeah. yeah. My mother, hate, he cheated on my mom. That's yeah, why she that's why. Him. She just fucking, she just, she's just bitter. <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. 